very clearly. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Allah ya <clears throat> Today we start with a little meditation. Take a deep breath and keep breathing at your space, at your pace. <laughs> Keep breathing, center yourself in your heart. Relax, sit comfortably. Drop your worries. See the sun. The sun is shining all the time, at night and during the day. The sun is the star which is on all the time. It's only you are spinning and experiencing day and night, morning and evening. Sun is shining with happy, joyful energy. It's only up to you to catch it. Relax, relax, relax. Concentrate in your heart. Concentrate in your spirit. Concentrate in your eternal mind and your internal soul. Relax, relax, relax. Shift, shift, shift to a higher you. To a higher yourself, higher self. Higher self is still self. Higher self is still you, is still I. It is... It is you, just in a higher vibration, that's all. What is your higher self? It's you in a higher vibration. It's you uplifted. You uplifted. You future you. Eternal you. Your soul. Your guide. You in the Creator. You in the Mother, Father, Son, God. It's you. Allah. So looking for higher self. Searching for higher self. Only look inside. You will find yourself inside. You will find your higher self inside. The only path to your higher self is by being yourself, <laughs> by expressing yourself, by shifting yourself up in vibration. Today I will talk about psychic work. You are psychic. You are telepathic. 
You have been doing this for many lifetimes. It is natural for you to be psychic and telepathic. You always feel other people. You often sense the future. You often experience waves of awareness, waves of awareness. Unexplained joy, unexplained sadness, unexplained anxiety come through your telepathic and psychic channels. You are used to it. It's all within yourself. It is all within grasp. I just invite you to practice more of it. To become adept in it. To become professional in it. It's part of your spirit growth, your spirit work. It's part of ascension. Calibrate your psychic senses. Calibrate your telepathic language. First, learn to listen and be patient because when you are in a hurry, your own ideas, your physical mind ideas, your physical mind worries, your physical senses interfere with psychic messages. We are always in you. We are always part of you. Creator is always part of you. And angelics are always part of you. I am always with you. It's only up to you to listen. It's only up to you to tune in to the right wave and ask the right question. And to take time, to take peace of mind, to get into the peaceful state. Even on the run, it's up to you to get into the peaceful state to tune in to the answers. When you get used to that, you can do it on the fly, you can do it on the run, you can do it instantaneously, but as you are getting there, Take your time, take your breathing, and in any situation, even in most critical situations, ask for psychic messages, ask for psychic suggestions, for help from your higher self, from help from mother, father, son, God, from me, from your favorite spirit friends and take a moment to listen for the answer. How do you know which answer is coming from us and which answers are coming from hmm, from not us? From your doubt? from the noise of the universe, from negative tricksters, and so on. How do you tell? Only by calibration, by by practicing and learning and retrospection. Yeah, by retrospection. 
Every time you do a psychic guess, every time you make a decision, remember that, and later look back and see, was it, what was the feeling and what was the result? What was the feeling and what, that, what was the result? Because we come through the, to the physical mind, through normal senses. You either see the answer, or listen to the answer, or feel the answer, or know the answer, but it enters through normal doors. Back doors, front doors, all familiar doors. It has a funny, the psychic messages, psychic suggestions have a funny signature vibration, signature smell, signature buzz, signature sense, signature tactile sensation, signature sound, vision, and so on. So just by these little physical senses, emotions, you can feel where from it is coming. Use your hands to feel the answer. The hands are connected to your heart and are great tools for feeling the answers because that's how you feel their environment. You touch it, you feel, you have the sensation of the environment. So ask your hands to give you the answer. It is easy for us to come through your hands. Ask your heart, ask your mind, any door which is comfortable for you. But don't forget about hands. Hands give you lots of answers. Importantly, importantly, The best situation to get a psychic answer is when the answer is important, when the answer is justified. Because you are still operating beyond the veil. You are still operating in the world of forgetfulness. It is a wonderful world of the planet Earth, 3D reality. You jump there, you chose to forget. So you still exist beyond the veil. There is still a mechanism of forgetfulness working. So it is the miracles are allowed for you only when they are justified, only when there is a higher reason for them to exist. So when you don't need it, you can practice, but don't be surprised that when it's not justified, it doesn't come. It comes only when there is a justification, when there is a spiritual reason, when you made a positive choice, when you made a step forward to the spirit, and then the spirit is allowed to step down to you. That's it. So... smile, breathe, be in peace, ask the right question, and wait patiently for the answer, and be thankful for the answers that come. Especially good are the messages which help others, which is not for your sake, but for sake of others, for helping. And especially easy are the messages when you don't ask for proof, when nobody gets any proof of the miracle, when you just do the work, do the helping work, and keep it quiet, don't share. Then you get more and more miracles coming your way as long as you don't publicize <laughs> It's not because we are evil, it's because of this 3D reality, the rules of 3D reality. You jumped there to forget and then to choose 
and then to choose the spirit, choose the faith, choose God without evidence. Work on your healing talents. You are powerful, enabled, able magicians. You are entitled to heal others. Every one of you is a healer. So study healing Practice here. Step out of your home. Find the closest tree. Hug the tree. Put your palms on the bark of the tree. And send your healing to the earth. It is the closest living connection with the roots in the earth. Feel the buzz. Feel the connection. The more you do this every day, the better healer you become, the better psychic abilities you become, the more you help the earth, the more you become the creator being, the more you become entitled for knowing, learning the secrets of the matrix, because you contribute, your karma clarifies, cleans up, becomes cleaned up. As you work on healing the earth through the trees, your karma improves, so you get more of psychic gifts, opened, expanded. It's like recharging your psychic batteries. Work on the healing of the earth. It is always time to send your energy and intention to uplift the reality. It's like taking the trees and pulling them up and using the roots of the trees to pull up the whole reality to the higher level. You want a brighter future, and this is the shortest, the easiest way to brighten your future, to brighten your present, present by working on the trees. As you give healing to the trees, they give healing to you. It is an equal exchange. It's an exchange. You become recharged harmonized, energized. You get a dose of peace. Work with the children. Your society is sick there is so many lonely people and there is so many lonely children. Help people with children. Help parents with children. Step forward. Help. Offer your help to parents with children. They need your energy. They need your love. They need your healing ability. Children will heal you. You need the children energy. And children need your energy. It's mutually beneficial exchange. They are the future. Brighten your future. Brighten their future by helping. You are already awakened. You are already awakened. 
you are you are already psychic you are already telepathic you are already on the positive path share your positivity share your positivity with others on their terms in their language be helpful to them in their way just by being with them lighten them up <laughs> any comments questions so far I'm always the first one talking. <laughs> Shanti. Hey, 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 hey. Allah, 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 Allah. Pronounce. So wonderful to hear you. Nice to be with you. about psychic I'm, I'm taking a course in uh, chan uh, channeling and mediumship and it's something that I always uh, long time ago I, I felt like I should be on both in both worlds I should be able to communicate through both worlds you know yes 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 <laughs> and uh, I'm just frustrated because I'm not doing it and I should be doing it but I'm not um, but, you know, I just have to be patient, like you said, and, and try to breathe, try to meditate, do whatever I can do. I think I'm progressing, but I just have to be patient, right? It's all about awareness. It's all about awareness and uh, learning and being ready to change, shifting. Look, you are living a very active life and uh, habitually you don't realize that at every moment of this life you can do things differently you do it in many ways you do it all the way but now you got new awareness new skills new tools in your possession. So the same problems as you solved before, same tasks you achieved before the old way, now you have the new tools. So at any moment, keep in mind, it's always with you. You don't have to sit down in a, in a cave and meditate for years. You can do it on the run. You can do it as you do your normal business. Just take a breath and when you need to know the future, ask your intuition. When you need to do something, exercise, work out, train your spiritual manifestation muscle. In many cases now, instead of doing the work hard way, by actually actually asking people, arguing with people, forcing people, you can do it new way, through peace of mind. Just do nothing, and just intend it to manifest. Intend it to manifest. Just experiment with it, in a safe way, in a safe way. And see how things go through your physiology, through subconscious, through your connections with trees and nature. The things just go through underground, through inner currents, through etheric field. They manifest on the other side without you doing physical work. The secret is that meditation is as powerful manifestation work as hard physical work. Not always, but 
Sometimes. 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 So combine your physical work, physical speaking, with telepathic work, psychic work, magic, manifestation work. You are already doing things. You are already serving the humanity, serving the spirit, serving God by being awakened and experiencing, experiencing the life, experiencing the modern life. You are the first generation which experiences this kind of reality. So you are already an observer, but... You can be also a magical manifestor. Manifestor, yeah. That'd be wonderful. Um, um, I, talking about the connection, um, I was talking about my brother. He's back in the ICU, and I, I, I feel he's not going to come out this time. Or still, I, I just feel that very strongly, and I didn't go. I didn't go to India, uh, as you suggested, and uh, it was good. I got your support because it would have been hard for me, you know, with these emotions going on one side and the other side, saying, "Yeah, you know, he's a soul, and it, it is good. It, you know, I should be happy that he's free from, you know, from his body, and he'll be free as a spirit." Will I be able to connect with him? I've not been able to talk to him at all. And I didn't, I didn't go in January for whatever reason. The higher spirit inside of me did not go when there was an opportunity outside. Um, I don't want to feel guilty about it. But and uh, uh, Is there a way to, for me to con talk to him or uh, connect with him? Or is there somebody else can connect with him? Or what happens when he leaves? Take a breath. Keep breathing. <laughs> keep breathing. Keep breathing. When his soul decides to leave the body. It's the soul's decision. It will come to you because you are qualified. Before crossing over, it will come to you because you will attract it. You will know that it, it comes because of strong physical feeling, strong physical sensation. Most likely you will not be able to see it or to talk to it. To listen to it but it would ask you for the help to help to cross over it's easy just be prepared explain what is it what is happening the main thing explain that it's okay to leave the body it's okay to be a soul it's it's a bright future in the future it's not the end of the world it's just the end of this life. Explain it in simple terms to your brother. And then help him just with intention, just with simple words that it is time to cross over and return home to the spirit world. It's a wonderful world and he will be welcome there. It's a wonderful world and he will be welcome there. That's all is needed. And that would be a great service. You are qualified, you're good, you're strong, you're at peace. Be prepared, be prepared. It is work, but it is not hard work. It's just the work which comes from awareness, just because you understand. Allahumma 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 oh, I will be there. I will hold your hand and his hand. Thank you. Allahumma. But it's good for both of you to do this service. 
And consider when the time is right to visit his, to visit India, to visit your relatives, and just be with him. Amma, 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 amma. They will understand. Just be with them, speak in their terms. Just being with them is sufficient. Allah, just eating with them, sitting down, eating is sufficient. Allah, cooking with them. Allah, 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 You see, the death, they live, the, when, <laughs> the death, living of the body by the soul, crowns the, the life. The ending is as important as birth. Allah, Allah. Allah, keep breathing, keep staying in peaceful, happy, uplifted, connected mood. Allah, don't close your heart, don't close your heart habitually in grief. Keep the flower of your heart blossoming. Allah, 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 in life and death, praise the Creator. Allah, 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 Allah. Instead of grieving for departure, celebrate life. Allah, Allah, Allah. For death is equal to birth. Allah, 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 Allah. There is no death, no birth, no life. It's all one dream. Allah, Allah, Allah. I invite any comments and questions. Hello, Govindji. Keep you with me. Hello, thank you. Um, I have a little dog who requires my attention all the time. And I feel like it's uh, taking me from other things, but. I don't want to be selfish about it. I also think she's very precious, and I'm wondering how I can heal, get her healed. She, she needs special medicine, and I have to make food that's made from meat, which I don't do. And I, I feel like a prisoner to her, but I love her so much, and I, I feel like we, I could get her better. Mm-hmm. 
just give me a moment. What's your name? Rosie. Rosie. Allah. I cannot give you an exact answer. It's I'm not supposed to give you an exact answer. I can give you only my feelings about it. I sympathize with both of you. It's a wonderful relationship. I feel that some time ago it was time for Rosie to leave the body and it is you who keeps her here it's your love your relationship which keeps her in the body she serves you and she helps you she loves you unconditionally so whatever is good for you whatever you wish she would stay in that sick body although it was time for her to leave And even because you are a powerful healer, you could possibly return her temporarily back into a more comfortable life. The lesson for you is a healing lesson. A lesson of sacrifice. One of the main qualities you learn in this life is to be a healer of, and be and do self-sacrifice. So you are progressing greatly in your spiritual journey and Rosie is happy to be serving and helping, although it is suffering for her, but it is negligible to compare to their benefit for your spiritual growth. Because you're learning medicine, you're learning care, you're not alone, you advance really well. So that is service for both of you. And Rosie also is progressing. So from the spirit perspective, this suffering is justified. Although it wasn't in the plan to go that long. It is your talent which helps that. Now, my personal suggestion, as I would do, I would relax and smile and be happy. I would not hold tight with pain and I would not hold tight with the sense of being trapped. I would relax and let things go. I would still do the same physical actions, the same compassion, the same care, but I would be in a happy state. I would shine and I would let Rosie to decide whenever she wants to go, I would let her go because I would be self-sufficient I would be not, what's that word, grief striking, stricken, because the life is an illusion and my connection to Rosie would be as strong when she leaves the body as when she is in the body. <laughs> I would keep the memories of life together. I would cherish them. And it would fill me with happiness. But I would not hold on to her. I would let her live her life and die whenever she decides to. 
Because death is not the end. Death is not the end of the of the journey. It's just the transition. And also your happiness, your choice to be relaxed and happy, your choice to be loving in a happy mood would lighten up her transition, would lighten up her healing. So maybe by releasing her, you would actually heal her because when you, because she reflects to you your state. So when you are happy and relaxed, she might become happy and relaxed as well. It's paradoxical from the human perspective, from the 3D perspective. But when you shift to the spirit idea, it is a commonplace. That's how the spirits consider things. That's how we see that. And that's how many enlightened humans see that. It's part of traditional Eastern culture. It's only in the Western world that death is so feared. In traditional, many traditional cultures, it's understood to be just part of life. I will give you a little chance to to deliver my compassion and to deliver the idea of peace and balance which I cannot deliver through words. <sighs> Allah 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 Take it easy, keep breathing. I invite any reflections, what, whatever you want to say. Reflections, new comments, new questions. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to ask a question. All right. Hi. Hi. Thomas and Eva. Hi. say two questions first one is um, I signed for the workshop with with this group and I'd like to ask if my daughter who is only 15 but extremely wise and I think she's a star child would she benefit to also participate in this workshop my second question oh, no, no. Let, let, let me do yeah. okay Max is here Hello, Eva. All right, that's for Max's question. Yes, we have already one child coming. He is maybe 10, 11 years old. So it's child friendly. We will keep it child friendly. Um, so you will have, you, you know, it's okay to bring her, but you would have to like uh, be with her. And most likely she wouldn't be able to uh, see through as much as adults. So maybe you would have to uh, spend time with her outside of the classes because there will be like maybe eight or nine hours per day of classes. So maybe that would be too much for 15 years old. But otherwise, I don't see any any problems. We'll keep it high and uh, child friendly. Okay, she did participate in one channeling with Jim, and she did very well. She talked to her higher self. Nice. So yeah, I'm children not... nowadays are more advanced than adults, yes. I think it would be fine. We'll have, um, I think, just very nice, traditional, positive, light worker crowd that we don't expect anything 
inappropriate for, for children. Except <laughs> except our teachings are very non mainstream, so she would have to understand that we are not uh whatever she learns with us, you know, she cannot easily share on in the mainstream. I mean she would have to work with discretion. Maybe if she her, yeah. this way, her mother is not traditional either. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Because if, if she goes to institute most of the people wouldn't or university, most pe people wouldn't be ready to speak the language they would be aware but not maybe not ready to speak it so sometimes it uh, it requires um, translation translating so when you go to the mainstream world you would have to translate so that is part of training which i don't think we'll provide but uh, we might might mention that so when you go to the mainstream world you would still have to yeah that's what we are saying all the time, speak on their language. So translate whatever you have to say from the spirit language, the lighter language, light language, um, light worker language into the language of mainstream world. You can give the same message. It will be just longer message, <laughs> like 10 times longer, but it is possible, just uh, possible to translate things. And um, my question myself would be mm -hmm. I went through a Breverian initiation workshop in February so my body is um, right now equipped to live without uh, solid food but I seem to be eating and I know that I realized a lot of my Eating is connected to emotion, to to basically, it's almost like I'm processing life through food. But um, my question is, since I don't perceive my relationship with food neither before nor now as healthy, mm -hmm. if I can get any feedback on in this matter. I think it would be better to bring you on the back for that question. Hold on a second. Allah <laughs> Iwa. Ewa. Ewa. I welcome your spiritual path and your excitement about breatharian work. Switching from food to no food to food of spirit food or eating the universal energy without material Carrier. Yes, miracles are possible. I will repeat. Choose a diet that corresponds to your state, to state of mind, state of soul, spiritual development. Be realistic. Understand that sometimes you do need food and sometimes you don't. Switching from Low vibrational food to higher vibrational food is not a purpose, it's just a tool for balancing your life, for balancing your life with your spiritual development. Look for foods 
experiment with foods, empirically trying. Variable foods and look for the foods which make you feel balanced, energized, healthy. It's very easy. Health is the answer. Health is the main criterion. So if eating makes you healthier and more energized than non-eating, then keep eating. It's that simple as that. As simple as that. Start, start with a purpose. What is your highest excitement? What is the purpose? Where is the component of service? Love, self-expression, search for inner, inner truth, inner self, higher self, higher expression. Yes, Becoming a breatharian is a step forward. But it's not ultimate step. It's just another tool, another step, another manifestation of a miracle, another proof of the spiritual nature of a man. So take it easy. Expand your healing abilities. Expand your healing practice, self-healing practice. Make your relationship with food healthier. Realize by eating the produce of earth, you unite with earth. And when you unite with earth, you absorb the atoms of earth they become part of your vibration part of your physical body and their energetic bodies unite with your energetic body so by taking in the products of earth you can connect to earth more directly it is a process of connecting to earth and then by uplifting yourself you uplift the earth so there is nothing wrong with eating food you can still do your ascension work by uplifting earth through food it's an ancient tradition in many cultures there is a tradition of sacred eating and sacred drinking It's the spiritual work which takes the precedence, the pur spiritual purpose which takes the precedence, and the way you do it is secondary. Hold on. Play with ideas of minerals and elements. Calcium, magnesium, manganese, copper, less frequently occurring elements. Sometimes your body can synthesize the energy from light and from zero point field from the spirit, but not yet being able to synthesize their elements. So maybe you need some elements, but not the energy. And expand the idea of self-expression, work, service, connection to others, networking, shining, and facing the world. You stepped up in many ways. Now, populate yourself with energy, populate yourself with faith, bring yourself on higher energetic level and 
gradually start returning to the world because you are needed in the world. While working on yourself, also work on the world, outside the world. Through physical means and through spiritual means, through non-physical manifestation. There are two paths. One is psychic sensing, psychic sensing, telepathic listening, and also sending out psychic messages, telepathic messages, and also manifesting things outside through non-physical means, just through desire, through the willpower, through solar chakra and all other energetic means. Transforming yourself, shifting, learning, moving, changing is essential. Take it easy. Take it easy. Allah Oh Ma Oh Ma Allah Part of your sickness is just to teach you how to heal. When you learn how to heal yourself, that assignment will be done. So it is about learning how to heal. Part of it. Allah. Allah ya nahum Allah 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 ya nahum Do you have any more questions? Well, I have a question actually about me and coffee. Mhm. Mm Because my, I know that my body really changed since I went through this Bavarian initiation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I really don't know because again, it's many ways is is new, and I I see that I react differently. But what's happening right now? It seems like I started drinking coffee every day, which before was really not working for me, and I don't know if. I'm addicted or if I'm not I seem to have freedom now I'm not sure anymore right um, you see coffee is very grounding and very addictive yes you are addicted and also you realize that if you don't drink coffee you, <laughs> you lose the capacity to live on earth your body becomes so light, so uh, unearthly, that you need some ways to stay on earth. Previously, you were eating food. Now, when you switch to higher vibrational food, you need some way to ground yourself. So, coffee and cigarettes are ways how people ground yourself, ground themselves. So, it is a grounding tool. Should I switch to pot? Oh, this part. Marijuana. Oh. No, marijuana is um, is not grounding. Nicotine is grounding. Cigarettes with tobacco are grounding, but not marijuana. Marijuana is another tool to get disconnected. It's not making your vibration higher. It's only breaking your connection to the ground to the ground. So it's it's anti grounding tool, but it's it's um uh, it its capacity to, to lift you up is very limited very limited so people who uh who smoke marijuana they get high because their starting point is very low so from low point they get a little higher but they cannot get any higher because marijuana is only of limited capacity to, to lift up 
to continue lifting up is you have to stop it basically. So it is a tool for low vibrational people to raise from low level to a little higher level. But, um, but there is a limited capacity of that. So non-smoking is actually is, um, is preferable for higher vibrations. But yes, grounding, yes, grounding is uh, a major topic for you, major um, challenge, major challenge. So experiment with foods. I would suggest limiting your coffee to zero gradually because <laughs> you would have withdrawal symptoms if you limit it immediately. So gradually, within weeks, uh, aim to make it, make the doses smaller and smaller and smaller until it's little drop. And then um, look for substitutes. Herbs. Herbal teas. Herbal teas, yes. Yes. Herbal teas. Experiment with different herbal teas and see which ones help you to ground. Also, physical work. Your energy level is unstable, uh, is like flickering flame. The flame is small. So you have that clear measure of your energy, which is lower than lower than expected, lower than des by design. So look for healthy ways to bring the energy back. It's not a simple one. It's not one step solution. It is multiple components to bring together. So you already shifted, but as you shifted higher, you lost some of the ground. So you need to reconnect to the ground one way or another, possibly through multiple ways. Water, natural water, rivers, lakes, ocean, sea, rain, natural water is a great tool to Again, some of the energy. Animals, children. Yes, animals, children, and water. <laughs> All components of nature. Animals, children, water, green, green um, leaves, green grass. Multiple components. You're too pure for this physical world. So see how you can reconnect without losing the purity. You already gained the spiritual upliftment. Now, coming back to the world in a healthy way is, is a challenge which is solvable. I hope it helps. Any more questions, Eva? Eva. Eva, Eva it's W stands for V. Eva. <laughs> Polish. Thank you. Sure, I had, but I don't, you know, maybe somebody else has questions too. Go ahead, go ahead. It's a good good conversation. It's helpful not only for you, it's helpful for everyone. Okay, since, since it's so much of today's about um, passing, I'd like to yes. ask. My mom passed away last November and I love her so much and I just want just want to hear how she's doing. What's Maybe her name? Kristina Świstowska. Kind of complicated for English year. Kind of feel that she's just jumping with joy, but I don't know if I'm imagining it. Give me a moment.
<laughs> All right. Um, I will speak as Max. That's easier. So I feel that... Yes, she is jumping with joy. Yes, she is happy to be there. There is so much there. She didn't expect it to be there. So much good, so much positivity, so much richness. She uh, really is... Uh, her main message is <laughs> take it easy. Take this life easy. You're doing good. And she's waiting for you there. It's not as bad as you might say, as you might think. Dying is not as bad. She was afraid, but it's not as bad. It's good. It is just uh, just a stage. So, um, but for your life here, she was giving you the motherly energy, which you had the connection. And now she cannot give you anymore because she doesn't have that body to send you that energy. And for you, the lack of energy is partly because you lost this, this uh, flow of motherly energy from her body. So now you don't have it. You need to find a way to, to reshape your energy field, not to be drained and to be self-sufficient and to, to re-energize yourself. I might be say too in a too sophisticated way, but the message is very simple. She cannot give you any more that that flow of energy, so you have to fix it by yourself. It's fixable. Mm -hmm. She is not missing you because she is with you whenever she she wants. It's uh, so don't worry. She is with you. It's only up to you to feel her. And. Um, it's very easy for you to feel here. You do, you just don't recognize the presence as her. So um, let me ask her what would be this. Do you, do, you, do you have a symbol for her, how you recognize her presence? Eva? Well, sometimes, sometimes I feel her, but only if, if, if I ask for it. Uh huh. Otherwise, I don't. I mean, I don't just feel her presence. I, it's herself. But it seems she like will. She will uh, come through the uh, sour feeling. Mm, what's that word? Not sour. The the Sai other one. Baba. Again. Sai Baba, maybe her her teacher. Say again, again. Um. My mom studied with Sai Baba. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. I didn't realize that. Uh-huh. Um, that place, the little pain here would be a sign that she, she, is, she is knocking on you. That would be the entrance. Okay. Just the sign, not the entrance. Just, just the kind of sensation which would uh, signify your knocking on your on your door on your on the door of your consciousness hold on Do you use candles? Once in a while, not often. It will help you if you take your picture and just set a candle in front of your picture. My picture? Your, 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 no, your mother's picture. Oh, your mom. Okay, okay. It's a nice flame with that would harmonize your relationship. And take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Now you, now you are a big girl. <laughs> but, 
about taking it easy, well, I do have a kind of universal question. Mm -hmm. See, I know that I am so wise, so spiritual and so on, but I so have, I, it's still, I have so much judgment. Ah. It's like, I, I don't like that. You know, I work on myself to just cut it off. But it's still, it feels like, okay, if I'm so, like, you know, so amazing and so on, why at the same time I project this crap on people? Because it's projection. Wonderful. I'll bring you Gananda. That's you Gananda's question. Hold on a second. Allah, 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 so what kind of judgment? Can you give me an example? A lot of this is about physical bodies. Uh-huh. Please so explain. Per perfection ideas. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, please expand a little bit. Just give me an example. An example. I seem to, let's say, well, it's not only that. It's It's like if I see a person who is, let's say, really fat. Yes. I see that person as kind of, I don't know, not alive, hurting herself, wasting her life. Yes. Zombie. I, I don't even know. It's like variety of things I'm projecting on this person. Yes. Thank you for the prompt. That was exactly what I was wanted to discuss. Yes. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. So the idea is before the enlightenment you chop wood and carry water. Then you become enlightened, become awakened, you realize new levels. That is the main understanding that everything is a dream, you are a spirit and now you carry their positive message to the world. But you still continue to chop wood and carry water. So that relates to your judgment as well. So your judgment is still valuable. It's still valuable. Your what you learn in, in the past, what you know now, is still of value. It is just you have more understanding, you are more aware that this is all the expression of God, the expression of Creator. It's all made of love, made of energy. And it's all for you to be of service. So all the past lessons, all the programs which you received with your culture remain valid, but on top of them you add the spiritual understanding. You add the understanding that it is also the expression of God. Even unhealthy person, even the person which is self-harming, even an angry person, even an evil person, they all are the expression of the divine. You still have to deal with them. You still have to use your skills of dealing with the outside world. But on top, there is that understanding that it is all the matrix, all the spiritual illusion, and you have the purpose, you have the mission. So there is a dual, dual play happening here. One thing, you still have to live in the physical world, but second, you have the inner knowledge of that being an illusion and of you having a mission. In a way, you become like... Go ahead. 
What's my mission? <laughs> oh, that's a part of a different lesson. <laughs> yes, the mission, um, it's your choice. You choose it. You choose it. Sometimes you can guess it right, but in most cases it is a choice. It's a choice. But the idea of service is one of the good choices, so you might consider that. The idea of service to the humanity and the service of ascension. But it is a choice. Also, self-expression, self-discovery is a choice. So, in a way, you become a secret agent of the spirit on earth. You become an avatar, a bodhisattva. You bring in the divine purpose, the divine energy, if you wish to. You can choose to transmit the ideas of spirits, the ideas of spirits, the idea of your higher self, the idea of your oversoul, to become a representative on the earth and carry this providence, carry this divine will, carry this guidance, listening to guidance and manifesting the guidance in the physical world. You can become an agent of God. An agent of God. It's a choice. But it makes life much easier and much more interesting because with the assignment you take on yourself, you get tons of help and tons of power. Yes. You give away much of your old self and gain much of your new self. You drop your old uninteresting uh, choices. You drop your old lower vibrations. You lift up yourself higher and take on yourself higher missions. And with these higher missions, you get more energy, more health, more luck. And you play a game of higher vibration and you learn the lessons on a higher level. So you basically switch to higher level lessons from learning how to survive and how to dominate, you learn how to serve and how to uplift others. It's an interesting game, but it's always a choice and you always have a cho you have a cho have always have a choice to come back. <laughs> It's like breathing. Sometimes you go high and then sometimes you come down and ground yourself. It's like breathing up and down, up and down. It's like jumping up and down, up and down. More like playing, flying and then landing, Fly, flying and landing. Allah So keep your judgment and transform it with love. Realize everyone is a reflection of you. They come to your awareness because there is a higher purpose for you to learn and reflect. And the idea is that you can Love them for whatever they are as, as nature. You can even be angry and act as you did before, but on the back of your mind there is still that connection to the spirit. On the back of the mind there is that psychic and telepathic connection to the spirit so when you experience the life 
mainstream life, the physical life, there is always that transmission to the spirit, what you experience, and also that guidance, that whisper, which suggests you what to do. And then you decide, every time you decide where, whether to follow the suggestion or not. So now when you become angry, you're not fully serious. You're, you're sort of play, pretend that you're angry. <laughs> and in fact, you're loving. It's like a grandmother, like a grandmother who dealing with children, with, with grandchildren. The grandmother would pretend that she is upset, that she is angry, but everybody knows she loves them. <laughs> and... Uh, she is just pretending to be angry. So until the enlightenment, before the enlightenment, you carry water and chop wood. And after enlightenment, you carry water and chop wood. But now you do it with love. That's the difference. And when you do it with love, you, when you do the same thing with love, you know, expressing judgment, experiencing judgment, when you do it with love, that judgment is transformed not only for you, but it's transformed for everybody. It's transformed for the humanity. All that you do now is becoming the part of Akashic Records, it's becoming the part of collective knowledge. And as you learn new things, it becomes the part of human collective knowledge. It transmutes transcends the humanity, uplifts the humanity. Remember the hundredth monkey experiment, hundredth monkey, hundredth monkey principle, when there is a critical mass of knowledge, when so many people learn the new way, the whole humanity will be able to learn it too much faster. So it is, takes certain number of light workers to learn the new ways and then everybody picks it up. It already happened many times in the history. You can see how rock groups, Beatles and others transformed the world in the 60s. It was only few people who were doing uh, the music, the new life, the new way of doing things. And then the whole humanity was uplifted through that. The new vibration was infectious. Just listening to music uplifted the whole humanity. <sighs> I'm running out of juice. <laughs> All right, I, I will give you a little meditation and it will uh, we'll wrap up. Allah Yahanna Relax. Breathe in a relaxed, happy way. Be grateful. Be grateful. Say thank you to the Creator, to the Divine Mother, Father, Son. for the life experience and for being part of the history, being part of the upliftment. Allahumma, Allahumma. Today we will uh, focus on our bones. Our bones are crystals of magic value. They are antennas of the energetic body. By changing your position, changing your position of your bones, changing the position of your skeleton, you realign the fields. The crystal of your crystals of your bones can calibrate, realign the fields, energetic fields around your body. So pay, at pay attention to your posture. Pay attention to symmetry of your body. Because often symmetry is needed for your meditation. So when you meditate, consider to be 
positioning yourself in a symmetrical way, when you connect to their, when you pray, when you connect to higher energies, consider to be symmetrical. Bring yourself in a symmetrical position. Pay attention to your bones and appreciate the bones. They are alive, they are full of living cells and DNA. So they are amplifiers of the DNA signal. Um, uh, Um, um, Your bone structure connects you to the earth in many etherical ways, in the ways of resonance. Allaham. Your bone structure connects you to the trees Allaham. through resonance. So when you're working in the forest, when you're walking in the forest, raise your hands up. And be a tree and resonate with a tree. Trees are very essential for Earth. Trees hold a high vibration for the humanity. Trees are connected in magical, resonant ways with the humanity, with your bones, with your bone structure. The branches of the trees are your hands and legs. Allah and fingers. Allah, appreciate the trees. Send your prayers to the trees. Prayers to the trees. Trees are one of the components of ascension. The humanity is a new forest of earth. Allah. Become shamans connected to the trees, to the forest, to the energy of the forest. Allah, 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 I will close the connection in a minute and uh, now I enter your heart and I will remain with you. Allah, Allah, feel me coming to you. I am coming to you through your heart. My vibration is green. Allah, 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 Allah. I feel as happiness and peace. Take my help. Take my hand. I am you. I am with you. I'm offering my vibration, my happiness, my joy, my energy, my love. I am love. I am light, I am love. Um, Allah, 
The ultimate choice is love of God. Allah, 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 Allah. Anna. Allah, 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 Allah. Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. Ah. Uh...